is Cheap Nails Happy News Day Frugal with Nail Art and in this video I'm going to be swatching and reviewing the Shani Earth Collection so let's get started. I've already prepped my nails and put a base coat on them so we're ready to see those polishes. First up is Moon Dust which is like a dusty kind of purplish gray color in the bottle when you look at it it's kind of like oh that's a gray polish but then when you put it more in like direct sunlight it's purple like it's a really pretty shade and kind of unique I do not have a shade like this so let's go ahead and put it on my nails when I went to go apply it it was very nice to apply and I do like the brushes that come with these polishes because it's it's like if I, I have short nails and I have long nails so it's not like oh it's kind of a bigger brush for long nails it's not like that it's like it works good for both long and short nails. Okay, there's one coat of it. It was very self-leveling and no streaks. So I'm going to go ahead and put another coat of uh, the shade on there. And it was fully opaque in two coats, which I love. I do not like it on polishes. You know, like you have to do a bunch of coats to get them opaque. So I really like that part of it. And this color is so beautiful. I love it. It's definitely one of my favorites out of this collection because it's just so pretty. Okay, moving on to this wonderful brownish, like, sand color. And it is called called Terra and it is so pretty. Now this Shanty collection is basically all earth shades and they are very pretty. So let's go ahead and put this on my nail. Now I'm putting on just a coat of it right here and it is very self loving and nice. It's not a fully opaque on the first coat but it is very easy to apply and I thought for sure is this going to be a jelly or a grelly but it is not. It's just a plain glossy kind of nail polish. It's very nice. Okay, that is one coat of it. So let's go ahead and put another coat on and I got it to be fully opaque on my long nails with just two coats. I was very happy about it. There we go, there is two coats of Terra and I think it's just a wonderful brown shade. Okay, moving on to this darker polish, which is Dark Matter. Wait a minute, isn't Dark Matter like in space? This is the Earth collection? I don't think Dark Matter is on Earth, is it? I, I don't know enough about that to know, but this is kind of, when you look at it, I don't really see just completely like a black shade to it. It's kind of different. It's kind of like a pavement, a little bit of gray in there. But when I applied it to the nail, it was black, which is a little bit of a, like a lighter black undertone. It was basically black though. So it's kind of funny that it applies darker to the nail, more just like a black polish than in the bottle. It kind of doesn't look like this in the bottle. It's kind of funny. But there we go. It's kind of just opaque. It's basically opaque with one coat. But I threw on another coat because I always do that. <laughs> And there is Dark Matter with two coats. I think it is a very pretty black polish. Okay, moving on to this wonderful gold glitter polish called Sunray. I love the name of it. It is so pretty. It's got these like little, little glitters in it. And it's so pretty with this like yellow base, like really, really strong yellow base. It looks so pretty in the bottle. So let's get it on my pinky finger. So I'm going to go ahead and paint one coat of it on my pinky finger. I didn't really expect this to be opaque. And it's probably not ever going to be opaque. <laughs> Now, if I did like probably three coats on my pinky, it would be opaque, but I really like seeing the uh, free edge of my nail through this polish. I went ahead and put just two coats on and it wasn't fully opaque. I could still see the nail, my nail line, but that's okay. I don't really know if this polish was meant to be like fully opaque, but you probably put three coats on it, it would be opaque. But I really like it looking just like this. I think it's such a gorgeous, beautiful yellow glitter. Okay, moving on to this wonderful, like, yellow shade. It is called Sandstorm. And when I first looked at this bottle, I was like, oh, this looks really pretty. Is it going to look like cheese? So I went and ahead and applied it to my thumb. And yet, it looked like cheese. You know Velveeta cheese? If you ever ate in Velveeta cheese, it kind of looks like Velveeta cheese. And it was almost opaque on my long thumbnail. It was almost opaque, but it wasn't. So I went ahead and I just put on a second coat. And that is what two coats of Sandstorm looks like. It is a beautiful, cheesy nail polish. Okay, moving on to this wonderful darker brown polish called, which is like a perfect name for it, Oak, because it looks like oak wood and it is so 
pretty. This earth collection really is earth shades. It's so pretty. So let's go ahead and put it on mine now. Okay, I am swatching on my left hand now, which is short. I have short nails on my left hand because I play the ukulele and the guitar and you gotta hold down the strings with your left hand. So if you've ever seen short nails in my videos, now you know that my left hand is short nails and my right hand is long nails. I got like the best of both worlds. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and place a, another coat of that oak color on and it, this shade is beautiful. I loved wearing this shade on my nails and it was fully opaque in two coats. I didn't think it was gonna be opaque, but it is opaque in two coats. It is so pretty. Okay, move it on to this bronzy shade, which is fittingly called bronze. And it is like a metallic brown kind of gold polish. It is beautiful. The bottle looks beautiful, so let's go ahead and put it on my nails. So I went ahead and put it on, and it was a little bit streaky. It was pretty much fully opaque. But lots of metallics that I've noticed are fully opaque. <laughs> so this one was pretty much fully opaque on the first coat, but I went ahead and put another coat of it on because I always like to put two coats of polish on. And it was a little bit streaky, but I used to put some top coat on. That would probably fix that up really nice. And that is what it looks like with two coats. It is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Yes. Okay, move it on to this wonderful dirt kind of clay shade and it's so pretty and it's called Prairie. Now it is lighter than the oak shade in this collection, but it's a little darker than the other brown in this collection, so I think it is so pretty. And I went ahead and applied it to my nails and it was almost fully opaque in one coat. So I went ahead and added another coat to it, but it applied very nicely, not streaky, and it leveled very nice. This is a very nice brown shade. So I went ahead and just added a second coat. There we go. There's two coats of this shade and it is so pretty. Okay, moving on to the next one, which is this lovely yellow nail polish. It is called Seashell and it's just kind of yellow with a, like a shiny gold undertone and it is beautiful. This is definitely, eh, I don't think I would call this cheese. The other one's cheese. I don't, I don't know if I would call this one cheese. It's kind of shiny. It's got that gold undertone. And it is so pretty and fully opaque in two cups. It is beautiful. Moving on to the next shade. This is very dark swamp green color. Which I thought when I looked at this, I'm like, this is going to be ugly. But then I thought, that's great color for earth shades. Because there's green swamps on the earth. So I thought... This is going to be good. It was not fully opaque in the first coat, so I went ahead and added another coat. But you know what? This, this color grew on me. I thought maybe it would be ugly when I first saw it. But after I painted two coats of it on my nail, I looked at it and I'm like, I like this green shade. I don't know how much I'm going to like wear it, but I really like this green shade and it's definitely an earthly shade. So there is two coats of it and I think it turned out pretty pretty. I really like the shade. I think it's pretty. Okay, moving on to this metallic silver which is called Comet and when I first saw the name Comet I was like that reminds me of Comet from Santa Claus 2 you know the reindeer Comet that's what it reminded me of so I went ahead and applied it and it was not fully opaque in the first coat which I didn't really expect it to be because it's kind of it looks like it's not gonna be opaque you know what a polish looks like not gonna be opaque but then I went ahead and applied the second coat and it was fully opaque and it kind of wowed me I'm like oh this is opaque in two coats look at that but it is so pretty I love this color look at it it's just so pretty okay moving on to the last but certainly not least which is this wonderful purple glitter. It is called Supernova and it looks pretty much identical to the Pegasus wings from the Shanty Glitter Collection. So yeah, it looks a lot like that, but I think that this is a beautiful, beautiful glitter. And of course, it's not opaque in two coats. You might wanna sponge it off, sponge it off, <laughs> sponge it on if you want full, like full opacity on it. But I really like it like this because it has this like kind of purple uh, undertone to it with the glitter, with the silver glitter. So I really like just putting two coats of on my nails and just wearing it like this. Like it's so pretty just like this. You like don't even need it like super fully opaque or to sponge it on because it looks super pretty like this. Okay, well anyways, that is the last shade and it is so pretty. I really, really like these polishes because I needed more earth toned shades in my collection. Like I don't really, I don't even, 
I don't think I, I have like one brown polish. Like I didn't even have any. So this really adds to my collection because it has that wonderful grays and browns and just earthy tones. I definitely recommend this if you want earth tones because it is beautiful. It kind of spreads me in a way. And a lot of them I didn't think would be fully opaque in two coats, but they were. They applied very nicely. The bottles are nice. The names are cool. And I really, really like this collection. I'm very happy with it. You can click or tap the screen to subscribe or click or tap the screen to watch another one of my videos. Please give this video a like if you liked it. I had so much fun swatching these polishes and I will see you next Friday. Bye!